for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of 4.5 lakh capacity elevated intage water tank by using statpro v8a software so i was already done my modeling process i was applied the load cases which is comes under the dead loading condition hydrostatic pressure as well as the uh, seismic loading condition wind loading condition for the elevated water tank so initially i will show you the model so click on the statpro software now you can see this is the model so click on the 3d rendering view option so that it will load the 3d rendering view for this respective structure this is the 4.5 lakh capacity water tank okay so firstly i will show you the properties go to click on the general option property option for this building structure i was consider the plate thickness which is approximately 150 mm and i was taking the uh, column size which is of 0.35 cross 0.35 and beam size is approximately 0.35 cross 0.23 so i was applied the load cases which is comes under the uh, both gravity loading condition systems as well as the lateral loading condition system now we have to do the analysis process go to analysis and print option id or no print option close option here go to analyze option run analysis option so that it will do the analysis process for this respected elevated uh, 4.5 lakh elevated intake water tank so we need to check for the zero errors as per the analysis data Now we can see here the model is obtained with zero errors. Go to post processing mode option, click on done option. So apply your load cases, click on OK. So that it will display the uh, deflection diagram for the building um, for the water tank. So now we can see this is the deflection diagram due to the presence of the dead load. The structure will be deflected in this direction. So again in the same process, this is the hydrostatic pressure. This is the earthquake load in x direction. Again in the same process, earthquake load in z direction. Okay. I am keeping the deflection diagram which is comes under the dead load. Okay. So click on the beam option. So deselect this respected MZ value, select the FI value. This is the shear force diagram for the building structure. In the same process, you can click on the MZ value. This is the bending moment diagram for the respective structure. So now we have to see the plate pressure. So click on the plate load option here. Select your respected stress type, absolute here. Click on apply, click on OK. Due to the presence of the dead loading condition, the pressure diagram will be showing here like this. Now we have to see the animation, click on animation option, deflection, so click on apply, click on ok. Now we can see this is the dead load deflection due to the presence of the dead load, the water tank is deflecting here, ok. So after analysis process is completed, we need to design this elevated 4.5 lakh uh, intake water tank. For that go to click on the modeling option, click on the design option, so click on the concrete frame design option here. Select the code here from this respected point, just I am selecting IS456-2000. Click on the select parameters initially, deselect this respected parameters. From this we need to pick compressed strength, yield strength, yield strength of shear reinforcement, maximum main, maximum secondary. So click on the OK option. Select defined parameters option. So here in this case, just I am considering the grade of the concrete is M40 grade concrete provision. Click on add. Again in the same process, we need to add the yield strength of the steel. Just I am assuming here as 500 grade, 500,000. Click on add option. Just I am selecting FI section reinforcement which is also comes under 500 grid, 500,000, click on add option. Maximum main, just I am selecting here as 20 mm diameter bar, click on add option. Maximum second is 16 mm diameter bar, click on add option, close option. Select the comments here, click on the design beam command, click on add. Design column command, click on add. Slab element command, click on add. Take off command, click on add option, close option. So we need to assign this particular question marks for the building. Select FC by using assign to view assign yes option fi main by using assign to view assign yes option section reinforcement just i am selecting assign to view assign yes select maximum main assign to view assign yes option maximum secondary assign to view assign yes option select the design beam go to select the front view option just i am selecting the beams here like this so again i am selecting the beams for this respective structure here like this again in the same process just i am selecting here 
assign to selected beams assign yes option in the same process we need to assign the design column go to select option here beams parallel to y direction condition assign to selected beams assign yes option select design element by using assign to view assign yes option again we have to do the analysis process go to analysis and print option add your no print here click on close option analyze option run analysis save here now we have to check for the zero errors according to the analysis process so now we can see here my model is checking for the zero errors as per the IS 456-2000 codal provision considerations Now we can see here the model is obtained with zero errors go to post processing mode option click on done option so apply your load cases click on ok so deselect the deflection diagram here this time selecting the beam option so here i am selecting the beam this time selecting this particular beam double click on it click on the concrete design now we can see for this respected uh, ring beam it is required approximately 4 bars of 10 mm diameter at the top reinforcement section and 4 bars of 10 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement section so in the same process i am selecting the column here so i am selecting the vertical structure double click on it so now we can see here the reinforcement values are not showing for this respected column section due to the presence of the less amount of the dimensions of the column so if you change the dimensions of the column to higher value then automatically it will show you the results which is comes under the column design section okay so this is the complete process of uh, designing of uh, uh, elevated uh, intense water tank of 4.5 lakh capacity by using stat pro VA software so if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for this respected questions so you can see the reinforcement design results and you can see the uh, complete results which is comes under the designing section according to is 456 2000 codal provision in this particular section okay thank you for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com